Yo guys, this is your artist Holgard and welcome back to my channel. Today with a new tutorial. Today I will show you how to draw future trunks from Dragon Ball Z as a Super Saiyan. Let's start after the intro. So guys, let's talk about the materials first. We need a paper sheet, a pencil, an eraser and a ruler. The paper I am using is from Copic, 250 gram thick and high quality. The pencil and the eraser are from Faber Castell, but the brand doesn't really matter here. You can find the materials I am using also in the description below. And before we start the drawing, we will draw some guidelines which are very important. First we will have the A4 size paper sheet at 10.5 cm. Then we will do a 3 cm guideline for the face. This small line will help us to place all the face features right. Okay, let's jump right into the drawing guys. We always start with the eyes. Trunks will have a serious look, therefore we have to give him those wrinkles between the eyebrows. And from there, we will draw his eyebrows. Use the guideline for the length of the eyebrows. Then we will continue with the edgy shape of the eyes. Add the iris at the center of the eyes. We will place the nose right below the wrinkles between the eyebrows and the small mouth below the nose. Now watch how I do the shape of the face. Just like that. Then we can draw the detailed shape of the face. Perfect guys, now add the wrinkles below the eyes of trunks. After that we will draw the shape of the hairline. We will place the ears right next to his eyes. The neck starts below the ears and then you can add the details to the ears. Alright, we are done with sketching the face of future trunks. Let's move on to the hair guys. So trunks has one thin hair strand in front of his face. Just like that. Now we will draw his main hair. Therefore you can use a ruler to place the hair strands at the same level. Then we will start drawing just the shape of each hair strand. The hair of future trunks in a super same form is very equal to Broly's hair. Just the hair of trunks is a little thicker. That's a perfect hair strand. Now we can do the same thing on the other side. Now we can add some hairlines into it to give it more detail guys. And that's how the hair should look like. So guys, now I will draw the shape of the entire hair first and then we will add the details into it. That way it will be way easier for us to draw. You will save much time and effort this way. By the way guys, which trunks do you like more? The trunks from Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Super? Let me know that in the comments guys. I am 100% a Dragon Ball Z trunks guy. <laughs>
right. The shape is done and it looks great. Now we can add the details to each hair strand just as we did before. I really like it. Now we can move on to the torso. Again, we will start drawing just the shape of his upper body. You can use a ruler again to place the shoulders at the same level. draw the shape of his jacket as well before adding any details into it. You really will have a way easier time drawing this way guys, so try it out. So, now we are ready to add the details to the badass jacket. The jacket of Future Trunks is very short, ripped and has a big collar. I just love the design. Draw the pocket at the center of the jacket. Perfect. Same process on the other side guys. And if you haven't liked this video yet, do it right now and smash the like button guys. So looking really good, now we will continue with his shirt under his jacket. The shirt will be more relaxed on his body and not so tight, therefore we will draw it more wrinkled. The 
chest muscles will be very round. So as you guys know, I like to draw the Saints a bit more muscular. That's because I am a big bodybuilding fan and I'm doing bodybuilding myself. And if you make these characters more muscular, they just look more badass, which is great. So improve the neck and traps and then we can move on to the belt. And if you haven't seen my latest tutorial on Vegeta Blue Evolution, check it out guys. It turned out amazing and the feedback on the video is out of this world. You can find the video in the info card on the top right. So to finish up the upper body, we will draw his arms now. Start with the round shoulders. Again, he will be more muscular than usual. So draw the muscles big and round. Add all the definition to his tricep and bicep. forearm will be very massive as well. The hands will be shaped into a fist, so draw just the shape of the fist first and then add the details into it. And when I think I'm done with a specific body part, I always do a double check and improve certain areas. So always do that to avoid mistakes guys. Take your time while drawing, that's very important. Okay, this looks good. Now we can do the same thing on the other arm. Use a ruler again to place everything at the same level. The bicep, forearms and the hands. You know how it goes, so let's go. Perfect, trunks is coming to life guys. Now to the legs. Again, we will start with drawing the shape. The pants of future trunks are very loose and wide. Therefore we will add a lot of wrinkles to the pants. Just watch how I do it guys and then try to apply it on your drawing. <music>
So looking good, we will do the same thing on the other side now. doing the double check again. I improve the areas which I think are not perfect. Do this especially before inking guys. But you don't have to be that accurate on the sketching as I am. It's just a sketch. It should help you to keep all the proportions and details on point before you do the inking. As you are speaking about the inking, we just finished this sketch guys. Trunks looks badass. I love how it turned out. Now give yourself a little break and then come back to this video to continue with the ink. So today I'm using a different pen. It's a pigment liner from Faber Castell with a XS strength. Let's try this out guys. So. What can I tell you about the inking? The most important thing here is to use the pen very slow. You have to ink very controlled. Otherwise, it's very likely that you will do mistakes when you are not focused. The pen I'm using is actually very good, but it feels like that the ink is stronger than from Copic. But it's also a little thicker than the size I usually use. You can also move the paper as often as you want to keep your hand comfortable. As you know, the ink is pretty much permanent, so your mistakes will be permanent too. So do each and every line very slow, relaxed, take your time and enjoy. That's all I can say guys. Last few lines and then we are done with inking future trunks. It turned out very clean, but to take a good look we have to erase the pencil lines. The brand of eraser doesn't really matter. I just used this eraser from Faber Castell, but for me they are all almost the same. So don't focus too much on brands guys. So the ink turned out amazing and I think I will not do a second layer of ink today because the lines are already thicker than usual based on the pen I used. That means we are now ready to color this amazing drawing. So let's get the Copic markers out. I always use Copic Show markers for the coloring. Very pricey markers but I love them. We will start coloring the hair guys. I want to give the hair a golden look, therefore we need the color tones Y21, Y28, W5 and W7. Start with Y21 as the main color tone. Leave some white parts on the hair strands to make it look shiny. Then use Y28 for the shading. Add the shading along with the hair lines.
After that we will use W5 to increase the contrast. Perfect, that's how the hair should look like guys. We will do the same thing on the entire hair now. Oh, and the light is shining from the left, which will make the left side of trunks brighter and the right side darker. So pay attention to that while coloring. That's the golden effect guys, looks great. Same coloring process on the right half of the hair, except that this side will have a little more shades. By the way guys, I have provided some links directly to the products I am using. If you purchase something from these links, I will get a little support from you. So make sure to check out the links in my description box. Alright guys, we are done with coloring the hair and it looks absolutely amazing. We will use the same color tones for the eyebrows of trunks. And to finish it up, we will blend the colors with Y21. So for the iris, we will use the color tone BG49. Leave small white parts on the left side of each iris. And then we will add some shading to the eyes with C3. Great. Let's move on to the skin. We will start with the brightest color tone E50. Cover the entire face with that marker. Then we will use E31 for the main shading. Add some light shades on the left half of the face and big shades on the right side. To add even darker shades, we will use E33, also more on the right side of the face. Now we will increase the contrast with E29. So looking great guys. All the colors are fitting perfectly together. We will do the same process with the same order of color tones on the neck and chest. And remember, the right side will be darker.
So good job so far guys. Let's continue with the massive arms of future trunks. Use E50 again to cover the entire arm with. Then we will use E31 to do the main shading. We will use the definition of the shoulders, tricep and bicep and forearms to place the shading. Okay great, now use E33 to add even darker shades on the inner part of the muscles. And to increase the contrast we will use E29 again. Perfect. To finish up the skin we will now color the other arm. Same color tones, same order of color tones. The only difference is that this arm will have way darker shades. Therefore we will use the color tones E31, E33 and E29 a little more on this arm. And that's it guys, the skin of trunks looks perfect and the shades turn out great. Let's move on to the jacket. We will need 4 color tones for the jacket. Let's start with the brightest one, BV00. Use this color tone very lightly on the left side of the jacket. After that we will use BV02. Use this also on the outer part. Then we will use the main color of the jacket BV04, so cover the rest of the jacket with that color tone. Then we will use C7 to add some darker shades into it. And when the areas are not covered that well, I like to do a second layer with the same color tones. So, looks great, that's how we will color the jacket of future trunks guys. We will now do the same process on the other side. And remember, the other side will always be darker. So use the darker color tones BV04 and C7 way more. Watch how I do it guys and try to apply it on your masterpiece. And when we are done, we will do a second layer again. That will increase the contrast a lot, as you can see.
perfect guys we are done with the jacket very good now to the shirt we will start with c5 and we will color the brighter parts of the shirt with that color tone and as you can see i use the wrinkles as orientation Then we will use C7 and we will color the entire shirt with it. Then I will use a black pen and I will draw the shape of the shading first before I actually do them. This way I will have a good overview and it helps me to work easier. So try it out guys. Then use a black marker to color the areas. When you're done with the shading, we will do a second layer again to increase the contrast of the shirt. That way your drawing will look like a print. Perfect. For the belt, we need a lot of different color tones, which you can see on the right. Let's color the belt properly, so we can move on to the pants of future trunks from Dragon Ball Z. Okay, we are at the last task. We will start with C5 and with that color tone we will add the brighter parts of the pants on the left side of each leg. Then we will color the entire pants with C7. I will not focus that much on covering the areas properly because we will do a second layer later on. I will just make sure that the pants are colored so I can add the shading to the pants a little easier. I have an easier time to do the shading when a specific area is already colored, if this makes sense to you guys. <laughs> So, now we will use a black pen again and we will draw the shape of the shading first. Then we will use a black marker to actually color the shading areas. Very simple guys. And as you can see, I use the wrinkles of the pants again to add the shading. And if you still haven't liked this video guys, I will be really disappointed. So smash the like button right now and support my work.
Okay, we are done with adding the shading to the left side and the center of the pants. Now we can do the same thing on the other leg. But again, this side will have more black shades. Looking very good, we are very close guys, some more dark shades and then we will do the second layer which will increase the contrast and will make the drawing look like a print. Same thing with C5, you know how it goes, so let's finish up the drawing. Last touch and then we are done guys. We made it, Future Trunks from Dragon Ball Z as the Super Saiyan came to life. Let's take a look at the end result. And it looks really really good guys, he really looks badass just as I want them to look like. Let's sign this piece of art like a real artist and then we can call this done. I am really happy how it turned out guys, especially the hair looks great. Maybe his arms are a little too massive but overall it's a great drawing in my opinion. But how do you like it guys? And if you learned something from this tutorial today, make sure to thumb up the video. Also comment below what you think of it and give me some inspiration for future tutorials. But the most important thing is, subscribe if you are new on my channel. We just reached 300,000 subscribers, that's a huge number, so thank you all very much for achieving this milestone with me. So if you want me to get to the 1 million subscriber mark, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the alarm bell. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. We are at the end of this long video and I see you on the next video again. Until then, stay healthy, stay fit, be a good person, be you and always remember, you are the designer of your own life.